I've ever been in the presence of so much figure skating talent in one place at one time. You know, what has it been like for the nine of you to crisscross the country together? Fun! Fun! Yeah. 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 Capital F-U-N. Um, <laughs> it's been an unreal experience. <laughs> 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 It's been an unreal experience. Um, we've never done something like this, being on the road for 29 shows, going across Canada on a bus. Uh, it's a first for many of us. And we've been there for each other. We've been there every step of the way. Uh, but I would do it again any, any year. <laughs> OK, who is, who is the most fun on the road, though? Me, obviously. I know. <laughs> uh, actually, so no, I don't you. think so. No? Uh, I beg to differ. <laughs> Okay, what's the reaction been like from, from the Canadian fans? It's been so warm. I mean, the response we've received really across the country has been so heartwarming. And going into these smaller venues has been really fulfilling and, mm -hmm. and perhaps unexpected for us. Uh, I think the audience gets a more interactive, engaging show. And uh, it's been electric almost every time we've taken the ice. And a big thank you to Canadians for that support. So I understand that you and Scott and Patrick are kind of co-producers. What's that experience been like? Well for me it's a learning experience. I've, uh, I've never been in this kind of role and um, I feel I've always felt more like a cast member than anything and being a co-producer has been um, very much a early stage of just getting myself comfortable with being on the other side of it as well seeing the other the behind the scenes aspect of shows um, and I've had great guidance from Scott and Tessa as well they've because we have so much <laughs> <experience. laughs> <laughs> but they, they, they have great vision and um, I like to to just have a little have my little toe in there and kind of have a peek in it <laughs> Elvis what, what's it like working for the youngsters <laughs> Oh, it's great. I have no stress. I just get to skate. <laughs> That's a fun part. I've, I've done my own tour for years and been yeah. the producer part of that and that whole thing. But to be a part of this group that has changed figure skating, they've all, they've all changed figure skating, um, for the next generations to come and to come back and skate with these guys, it gives me a new exuberant feeling and an injection of motivation to continue for the next few years as long as my body uh, it holds up but it, it's been great to be to be there and and chat with them too as some of them are going to be retiring and help them walk through that process because it is one of the most difficult processes of their lives is going to be the switch over they they haven't it hasn't hit them yet because they're still on that olympic high and it's continuing but the next little while they're going to have to feel out all of that and this show is a great way to help settle that in and give them some guidance to figure out who they are away from the rink um, as well to connect with that but also um, experience giving back to the to the Canadian people and not only Canadian people because we've had people from all around the world from Australia mm -hmm. New Zealand Europe the States everyone coming to see this show and it's just been phenomenal a show of hands now who is officially retired I know Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. He's coming back. We just don't know. Scott, was that a yes? Yeah. Put my hands up, but um, yeah. I noticed Tessa's wasn't. <laughs> okay, let's TV. talk. <laughs> Megan and Eric, you know, how have you moved on? Like, what happens after this show is done? What What are you looking forward to? Cry. Um, well, I mean, we've been so busy uh, with a lot of shows and a lot of engagements and coaching and. You know, I started doing my training to be a technical specialist, which is something I'm really Ooh. excited about Ooh. doing in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so watch out, all you underground trainers! It's coming! Um, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but I mean, we have <laughs> we have a lot of shows and um, like engagements in the skating world, seminars and shows, and giving back to the skating community Staying that has home. been so great to us throughout our career. Eric, more composing. Definitely. Um, I've been really fortunate to be able to play some of my music in this show, which has been an incredible and totally new experience for me. And I look forward to doing more of it. I think I kind of got the itch for it to perform in that uh, regard now and in that other side of my life, kind of taking it to that next level the way I got to with skating and being able to put the time in that I've never had before. I want to highlight that is in the show when, yeah. when Eric uh, plays the piano. Tessa. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Let me see, Caitlin and Andrew. <laughs> well, I, I understand, or rumor has it that you might be coming back for Canadians. We will yeah. absolutely be coming back for Canadians yep. in January.
the other Caitlin? Any chance that maybe you might come back to defend your world title? Not this season. <laughs> no. We'll see about the future still. Okay, and uh, you two. Tess Ojana? and Scott. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Possibly you could stick around and maybe come back for another Olympics? Yeah, I think our, our, we've set our sights on 2026. <laughs> yeah, maybe three, 2030, it depends where it is. Um, no, I think Tessa and I, will, we're still trying to catch our breath from, from the Olympic Games, but it, it certainly feels like uh, our Olympics, our, our Olympic experiences is done, and uh, we kind of better cash our chips and get out while we're ahead type thing, uh, especially when we're, we're in the show with, with these two and watching them every night. Uh, we I think we're probably at the stage where we're moving on, but we have to make sure that that's right. We don't want to be the in and out type of a team. Um, right. That's why we didn't announce after Sochi, and uh, we got to make sure it's it's the right decision. But it definitely feels like we're leading towards that. Well, for now it's just fun to practice the tango romantica with you on practice, yeah, yeah. Yeah. knowing that we don't have to do those key points. <laughs> no judges, judges watching. Yeah. But Elvis, well. Elvis is right though. This is a great way for us to perform uh, and and kind of still get the excitement and the pressure uh, that we all love, uh, kind of in a sick way. Mm -hmm. uh, but to perform for the Canadian people and to kind of celebrate uh, the career that we've all had together, um, it, it's kind of cool to have Elvis here because we've grown up watching him. Uh, we grew up, he was inspiring us. It's the reason a lot of us started skating or continued to skate. Um, but the rest of us have, have really come up the ranks together. So many competitions, so many national championships, so many Olympic Games together. Uh, and it's kind of special to be able to have a graduating class like this go coast to coast and celebrate with the fans that have also always been there. Well, it is called the Thank You Canada Tour. So on behalf of all Canadians, thank you all of you for everything uh, you've given back to the fans. And enjoy the journey upcoming wherever it may lead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.